morning guys it is March 25th 2024 so there I got a call from a guy I was over there maybe four months ago five months ago I had no heat on this old boiler and he had um, he had all this wiring mess going on there with some kind of um, nest thermostat or something but anyway it was a power boil power pile uh, with, a, with a power pile generator uh, got natural gas boil into a chimney and I was able to clean the the power pile and got it to fire up some sandpaper the guy hasn't had heat all weekend I guess he wanted me to go by on Monday I could have went by there on the weekend but it was more money so he wanted to wait it's pretty chilly out it's Monday morning and I'm gonna go over there and see if I could get it going for the guy it says that the pilot was a little wimpy on the generator sometimes I could you know uh, increase the flame on a, on the generator or change the generator and if it's a generator that means it's a power pile system which is crazy money for the gas valve I do have gas valves in the truck um, but well, hopefully it's not that because they're not cheap it's an older boiler probably you know 25 year 30 year vintage something like that old 25 years old Let's see if we can keep it, see if we can get it going for him. He was a younger guy. Uh, kind of a ha handy type, try to, you know, fix things himself if he can, which I don't blame him. I, so I try to do the same, you know. We're going to go see if we can get him heat. Power pile gas valves aren't cheap. Nothing's cheap anymore. Nothing's cheap anymore, Miss Marley. Alright, so. Yeah, let me know. Alright, I, I can wait here. I don't want to annoy you. No, you're not gonna ignore. You're not gonna bother me at all. So you did clean it, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes these wires are loose. You took it out when you cleaned it. Yep. Let's let's get the gas back on and let's see what it, see what's going on with it. You got the power on. What else did you attempt? Um. That was really, I, I, I really thoroughly cleaned the, the, the pile, because I, I, I was hoping that was it. Uh, I, I looked up in the manual, it says it, it goes up to 700 millivolts, but it was only producing uh, 180 at most. Yeah. And then it dips down to like yeah. 100, and I figured it, that was like probably way too low for it to operate. I got a manual automatic on that, which is... Um, I, did, I, I was very careful not to futz with any of the other wires, because everything was working on Friday uh, morning. Okay. Yeah, this is another queer device where this thing goes through here. This is what turns it on. Yeah, kind I of figure a, out the, the wiring. Um, very but, weird. Well, it should be calling between the black these two and then it goes up to the high limit it goes up to the high limit and shuts it off and then this is a manual setup which is odd let's turn the pilot on see what happens I want to see what that looks like you had the gas off so oh the other thing I remember I tried I hope this go ahead um, I did remove the pilot light adjustment and I screwed the screw in and out. But it seemed to have zero effect. Yeah, it's not enough pilot there. Something's dirty, probably. You just blew it with a compressor, you said? Yeah, I, I have. Uh, yeah, that's I, way, it's way too wimpy. Um, See it? it? And no matter how I adjusted the, uh, the, the pilot adjustment group, it, it seemed to have no effect. Other than when I went all the way in, it, it did get even smaller. Yeah, well, you might have it. Uh, something's wrong. 
It's way too wimpy. That's not gonna work like that. That could be what our problem is right there. But it, it stopped working before you started playing games here with this thing, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would not. I've just been <laughs> praying. I have not touched anything since. Yeah, it's, it's, you know. way, it's way in too much. It's way in. Way, 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 way in. Yeah, it might be a dirty pilot, because see, I'm backing it out. Yeah, if you back it out all the way to the You thread. back it out all the way, and it's still an issue. See it? Yeah, no, that, that's exactly... That, that was the third thing I tried. Yeah. And that was it. I only... You I can only, see the pilot's, like, really, really wimpy there. See it? Yep. Yeah. It, 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 no, it's all this bending shit. You bent this thing up. Well, anything? No. Um, it, it was actually really bent before. Uh, um, I tried to make it a more graceful move. Graceful? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this thing apart and fix it, okay? Because it's no good. we got to clean it. So we shut this off. we got to get that apart. I think that's what's going to be our first step. Let's put this up here for now. Let's see if we can get this. And you did try, you did try blowing this thing out with a, com with a compressor, right? Many times, yeah. Um, but I have no experience. I, I couldn't really tell it. Should be able to. Should be able to hear it when you um, turn this to pilot and push it down. What I did is I Shh, put quiet. Yeah, it's definitely coming out like a gangbuster. So it's not the uh, expensive valve. Yeah. I don't know yet. We're gonna let's one step at a time here, guy. I'm gonna get these burners out if I can. These things seem queer. What are they? Uh, okay, so they lift back. straight up. All right, I see what's going on. These are these look pretty pretty clean actually. Yeah, I, I tried to uh, clean them every season. And huh? I tried to uh, blow them out and really uh, brush them off. With All right, we gotta get this one out first. First thing. Yeah, this is okay. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully, we can get it out without ruining the flipping thing. Could just be dirty, you know. Let's hope something simple. So when I blew air through it, I noticed the dust. I kind of put it in some dust to see if I could notice air coming out of the pilot end, and I, I didn't seem to blow in the air. Oh, here we go. Sometimes what I like to do is uh, blow these things out good. See, I, I couldn't remove that in. And I, I didn't know how it was crimped on there because I've, I've never it seen it. should come right out. It shouldn't be, uh, let's see. That's when you get into problems. That's fucking dirty. I guarantee that's our problem. It's dirty. I, I'm hoping, because that, that's more like a $100 part, right? Rather than... <laughs> <laughs> let's one thing at a time here, guy. Before sorry. you start rushing into judgment here, let's no, one I'm thing sorry. at a time, okay? Yeah, yeah, Please. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks like the flipping thing's just spinning freely. Might have to go with a whole nother pilot assembly because the thing's just flipping loose as a goose. It's not supposed to be. It's the... Supposed to be coming right out, and it's not. It's just spinning. That yeah. thing, that's why it's leaking. It's supposed to be leaking out of there. Yeah, I tried to light it. It didn't light. <laughs> Can but you see that? How the whole thing's spinning? Y yes. Y yeah. I didn't know if that was normal or, or no. Not. It's not normal. Okay. It's not supposed to be like that. Yeah. So we have to get another pilot assembly. This 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 one's got a three-way hood on it. You see it? Yeah, the shape of the. Kind of Shit. Heat. That's the problem. You stop playing around with this shit and I can't get it apart. That should come right out when it's not. You can't leave that like that because it's not connected. It's it's just spinning in there. Yeah. Wow. 
that was kind of what I, I realized. That, that was why I just turned off the gas and I said, you know, I gotta call Steve. Right? Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. If I get that out, I mean, I could get another pilot assembly for it and get it cleaned and. But that thing is just jammed and it's loose. It's, I could spin the whole thing and it's the whole thing spinning. You see it? Yeah, yeah. So that, that's gonna leak right out of there. It's gonna leak gas. See, the whole thing's loose. See it? It's not even tight. Can't leave that like that. I don't know if I have one of these in the truck. These hood assemblies. I gotta go check. See what I got. But that's where we're at. I mean, without, without that, you're kind of screwed. That's gonna... Oh. Alright, I got some hood assemblies in here, but I don't know if I got that style. This is all usually buy stuff like that to have in the truck, but these are different models. That's got a four way. We got all kinds of shit in here. Old stuff from back in the day. Back when Moby Dick was a minnow. Here we go. Here we go. That's what we need. That's the one right there. Fuck yeah, mama. It's got a. It's got a the thing inside it and all. Now all we need is a uh, pilot assembly. Fuck yeah, mama. Yeah, yeah, mama. I might be able to use one off a water heater. Looks the same. This thing's not cheap. Might be able to use one off a water heater. I think it's the same. Oh, it's different. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to get some pilot line and run a new pilot. I got some pilot line in here and. Pilot line here, we need another ferrule and we're gonna cut it to fit. Alright, I should have ferrules in here. Pilot line ferrules in the... In this. There we go. It's a long one, I wanna try to get a short one if I don't. There's a short one. Oh, there's a long one. Always oh, a short one. Got that. Got this. Got that, and I got the pilot line. I'm gonna need some uh, little pipe dope and a cutter. All right, so I got the I got the parts. Should be the same. It looks the same. This kind of off and get without too much effort. Yeah, that comes off. This is gonna be replaced. Here we 
get it off. Motherfucker. Wow. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. It's always something with this shit, you know? I do have another one if I can even get this thing off of here now. That's the next question. The screws. Wow! It's all rusted on there. Yeah, there it is. I have some WD-40. Um, oh, no. so you tried getting it out too? Um, I, I, and then I realized it was stripping, so I... Oh, I, I, coming I, out. So oh, nice. Uh, got one um, out. Maybe over the... I, I sprayed it quite a few times, but I, I didn't want to strip it because I, I knew that would make your job a lot harder. Yeah, that's the one that might be stripped. As long as I got one screw. <coughs> Oh, a bitch. Luckily, I had these pots in the truck. Oh, man, this is kind of really getting scary here. Look how rusty it is. <laughs> so obviously, you can see this thing spinning. So I, I can't leave that because it's just going to leak right out, even if we got it clean, you know? Yeah, that was So I got another one here, same thing. See it? So, so and the I got a new gas line. The, the brass actually crimps down, and that should stop it from spinning. And is that right? Yeah. And this one is this one is uh, brand new. It's got a new jet in there. Awesome. Well, kind of scary. Like I said, this hood's not cheap because it's got a three-way three-way connector there. See it? Yeah. Most of them only go one way. But this one has got the three-way hood. I don't use them too often, but I, I like to have them in the truck in case I need it. In this case, you need it. Because of how the power pile works? Or just No, because it, it's a big burner and it's got to go more than one way. Uh. It's a little different. I think the the screws are a little different. Are they or not? Nope, they're going in there. Son of a bitch. Got me shaking here on this job already this morning. No, I don't. We'll, we'll get this in. We'll get the pilot on. Working good. And then we'll see if the, the gas valve will come on. See this this goes this heats up the the generator yep. and then it goes both ways because you got so many burners here. I uh, understood to, to light the rest of the yeah to light the rest of the stuff. So it's not it's a special it's a special hood. They use these on the burn hams the burnums too. Some of the burnums burn hams they use this. Now let's get this in here. I'm hoping I can. Yeah, see how they run a new pilot line because the other one, I don't have any of the real small shit like that. I'll make sure this don't break on me. That's the last thing I need is do more damage than you've already done. This, this, the ferrule will break off and there's a ferrule in there that breaks off and makes a connection. The pilot line. It kind of creeps down and everything and makes yeah, it... Yeah, see, it's nice and tight. That's yeah. what we want. I mean, it probably wasn't your fault. The thing's been down here in the mire and just damp and rusted and don't want to come apart, right? For flipping years... A little scary. Hopefully. Yeah, it, 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 it didn't seem like the connection was good. That's why I got the... I can bend this thing enough to get it past. Sometimes you gotta go down and then back up so, to get it past the... Crazy. 
that's going to sit down in there, you know. And yeah, it's a tough right angle there. It has to be. It's got to be down. Yeah, there we go. Look at that shit. Nice. Huh? Nice. Yeah. That's what I said. Fucking nice. Ain't, ain't over yet. It ain't over yet, guy. I'm just getting it back together here. That's scary. All them burners are facing up. Yeah. Just want to make sure yeah, all the burners are facing up. Now we got to cut this to fit. I should be able to. The only thing with this is it's not as um, it's not as flexible as the other stuff. You know this gas, this gas line. As the thinner. Yeah, the thinner stuff's easier to work with because it's more flexible. You know, but we'll be able to manage somehow. Hopefully, make a cut here. I guess. Once you get caught, we can get it in there and quarter inch aluminum, this is what you gotta use for the for the gas. Quarter inch aluminum. Hopefully I get this in there. It works. Man! You got me doing a workout here. This has to be has to go on the flippy pilot thing there and look at that shit. Sure, we stop this by hand because these valves are crazy money. Like you looked them up online, right? How yeah. much? Uh, I think it was six hundred and thirty-five dollars. Um, who knows if that source is even reliable? Would... Yeah, plus flipping, shipping, and tax and everything else. Yeah, I think it came to over seven hundred. Yeah, seven hundred bucks. Flipping nuts. Is that gonna work? Yeah. I have one. But... I have other valves that are a different model that work just as good. When you buy a boiler, is that always a separate? No, this is this is uh, this is what they call a power pile. See how it's got a red thing on it? It yeah. runs off the power pile. We, we, I don't even know if any of this shit's even any good yet. We're still just getting the pilot to work, right? Yeah. All right. That should work now. How that should be fine. millivolts do you look for? To huh? How many millivolts do you look for? To Usually 350, they'll run on 350. 350. Yeah. Let's see if it works now. I should be able to get a good pilot on there now. Huh? Yeah, I got it, I got it on. Yeah, yeah, see how much better that is? A thousand times fucking better. So yeah. It, it was nothing like that. <laughs> no. Even when it was working, it, it, it was... It never was. It was probably all rusted, but it's oh. definitely got a good flame there now. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I can adjust it now. I can adjust it to this. So, uh, so the adjustment screw actually does something now? Yeah, well, it will now. Before, what happened was it was probably all rusted and shit. See, when I turn this in, that flame should go a little lower. You don't want to have it too high. As I turn this flame, as I turn this in... When it gets down at the bottom, it should start cutting it back. See it? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it, it did not do that before. It, well, but the hood was all rusted. You couldn't get it apart. Yeah. It was probably leaking right out the bottom there. I so. Actually, I tried just for fun. I tried to light the bottom. It wouldn't light because I, I thought maybe it was leaking. Back oh, I can't leave it like that when it's spinning. Right. So we're going to release this. You can see how nice and red it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I could barely release it, it, it uh, before the call uh heat. Might have to turn it up a little bit more. Let's see if it works. You gotta turn it up. Yeah, call it for heat. We'll see if it works. Does the 
Uh, turn this to on. Okay. And you gotta turn it up. Let's we'll okay. see if it works. I could I could go more with the with the flame, give it a little bit more, because that heats up that thermal generator, right? Yep. And that makes the millivolts. And you got it. You're turning it up. It should take ninety seconds. Yep. Uh, yeah. It could be that the generator is bad. The flame wasn't that good before. It would be very weak. I, I, I could only get about 180 millivolts off of it. Yeah, usually like 300 is what you want. 3, 350 will work off of that. But it's got to be warm. It's got to heat, get, be heated. It could be the generator is bad too. Gonna give it a minute. This is automatic. Automatic and manual. Usually you could tell right here when this has got uh, that end switch calls. Because it'll be one click and then the other click will be, will start the flames. Um, Yeah, it goes to red, and then red comes back to green. It's an end switch. See it? Yep. So it goes up to red, to the, the, then it comes back to this. So when you jump these two out, it should run. So if you need to manually test it, you, you could do that. Yeah, um, that's it, when it should work. It, it is calling, though. It, 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 everything was working, so... They don't have 20 volts. <coughs> we got 20, we got volts here. There's the common here. Yeah, when I jump that out, then it comes on. See that? Yeah. Because this is the common. Common here is 20 volts common to here should be 20 volts and it is 22 there see it yep. so that should pull it in so something is something is funky could be in this switch here that's bad could be in this these these connectors might be a little a little weird here, these connectors, because this is what turns it on and off right here, through this thing. Did you check if these are rusty? Uh, I, 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 I was very careful not to touch any of the wires. Uh, Alright, shut it off. Shut it off for now. I'm going to pull them apart and see if it's rusty. Okay. Just shut it off. We could disconnect the thermostat. If, why don't we just leave it alone? Let me disconnect the thermostat. you got to leave it alone. Uh, did, did you already shut it off? No. Uh, no, I haven't turned down the... Okay, leave it, leave it alone. This way here, we're not playing around with the... This will shut it off when we disconnect this, right? We know, we know it's working right now. Just shut it off. See it? Yep. I just want to make sure all the connections are good and stuff. So it is kind of damp down here. Oh, that was a little loosey goosey. That one there was a little loosey yeah. goosey. So, so that might have been it right there, guy. I mean, it just don't take much with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, 
Especially right in a damp environment. My concern is if these are rusty. And it could be this, this millivolt connector here with this little queer thing. I have one of these in the truck, but that's another odd breed. All right, so why don't we um, reconnect this with, with a jumper cable and we'll see if it works. Put a jumper there to there to see if it works. Like an alligator clip or? Um, you know, just to see. Yep. I got some of the alligator clips here. Just so we could turn it off and on and see if it comes on and off. I had to change that hood because I wasn't I wasn't comfortable with how it was all rusted and you got to get it apart and you know what I'm saying know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. I know that. I really appreciate it. I, I see that. And now at least you can get it apart, right? Yeah. All right. So when we jump this out, it should fire. Click, and it should fire. Oh, the pilot went out. I don't know why the pilot went out. Oh, maybe because I disconnected stuff. The pilot went out. Must be, must have been on the safety. Must be a safety there. It was in, in line with that stuff. Oh, you know what it was when I when I unplugged this, the pilot went out. This oh, yeah, yeah. this thing here. So yeah, that's a safety for the thermal so couple. It loses power. It, it goes out. It does. All right, so we'll have to give that a minute to heat up again. Give that a minute to heat up again. And uh, we could turn this back on because it's not going to fire until I jump out that wire. Then once it clicks, you should fire. But this thing is questionable, this thermocouple with this. Let's see if it works. I mean, how long did it work for last time I was? How, when was I here? Uh, about four months ago. Four months? Wow, four months. I thought it was like, yeah, I guess. All right, we'll try it again. We'll try jumping it out. There it goes. You could hear it click, right? Yeah. yeah it sounds exactly like. It did All right, so work. I disconnected it. So that thermocouple generator gets heated up by the flame. Yep. So if you don't have a good flame, yeah. you're not going to create create proper millivolts to run the system. Yeah, and, and like I, I would check that right there. Uh, if you put the multimeter up, it... let's give it a minute. Let's see what it's coupling now. It should be at least like 350. With it on pilot. I just don't want to arc anything out, you know, let's check it. Use this if you want. Huh? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, millivolts. Yeah, look at that, 480, 4, yeah, see, four yeah. something. I was getting 180. Yeah, if it goes, if 350 will work. Um, 350, the thing will run with, usually with 350, okay? Okay. Just so you know. Yeah. 560, five sixty five. Oh wow! See it? I never saw numbers like this. It, it never went over two hundred. DC millivolts, MV. That my meter ain't doing it. So five seventy seven. Okay. So that's gonna work. So I'm gonna put this to pilot for now. Hook up my. Hook this back up, and then when I put it to, then it should fire. It's on pilot right now, so it's not going to come on. All right. So you need a new, new pilot hood. Um. And uh, I thought cleaned, the pilot, huh? I thought the pilot hood was the the thing you just installed. Yeah, I said you needed a new one. Y yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Got heat again. So, so it, it, it is working. Yeah. Oh, cool. Got it. Uh, okay, and you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it. I did that. I wanted to make sure I did it a few times without turning the thermostat down and then back up. Yeah. If you want, you could do that again, but and, and, and just I think it might have been a loose wire. We did check all these wire connections and yeah. move them around and 
be, it was like a quarter turn on one of them. Yeah, so maybe that was it. Uh, it don't take much. I mean, if you get a loose connection, but you have to make sure the pilot's good first. Because if the pilot's yeah. wimpy, right? Yeah. You're going to have an issue. Yeah, that, that, that is why I called you, because it, 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 it was barely on. Um, yeah, it won't work like that. But then the thing was all corroded. I couldn't get it a box. So we'll put a new one in the end. We'll like, okay? Awesome. Which is a pilot uh, assembly? Seventy-five bucks for that hood. Okay. Plus, plus my, you know, the aluminum tubing and uh, all that other shit yeah, too. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's not, they're not cheap. I told you that's a special hood. Lucky I even had it in the truck. Most places wouldn't even have that shit stock. Yeah, that's why I call you. I know you're an expert in this vintage stuff. Yeah, expert on the vintage shit. Luckily, I got it going for you. Yeah. Right? Uh, and it's all connected so the, the, the pump is running and every, everything. Yeah, everything's right. back working. Awesome. awesome. Hopefully, I get this back in here. Oh, it goes the other way? With I don't the, think so. No, with the L down. Right? Does it? I, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Yeah. Oh, you might be right. Did you clean all the burners are clean? Look at that shit. Fit right in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. Would you recommend eventually that I take the top off and clean, no. keep clean the... No. You shouldn't have to clean that. If that's all full of soot, you can't get it out anyway. This is a gas boiler. It's different. Okay, it's a lot cleaner. Oh, the manic uh, there. Flip a monster. All right, new pilot hood and pilot line assembly. Checked um, wire connections and we were at 580 on the millivolts. So yeah, it's five months. Boy, time goes by, huh? I know. Crazy. That's a beast. <laughs>